Everybody will be linked in the down bar. As always, if you're wondering what's on my nails, it is jaded from Revlon. Yes, it looks really terrible and chipped because, well, I haven't done my nails. Um, and jaded is a terrible, terrible nail polish. I will probably be decluttering it because it is that bad and I don't want to muck around with it, but I love the colour of it. So, yeah, I'm sorry. This is actually my second time filming this. Um, <laughs> the other version of it has too much noise in it from other people so yeah so this is the color and crack st patrick's day collab so we have 10 categories and a polish for each one which i will swatch on my little swatchy rooney wheelie thing for you um yeah so let's just get into it the first category was favorite holographic green or shimmer green i don't think i have a favorite holographic green but this is my favourite shimmer green. This is Emerald City from Revlon. This is a matte suede. Um, it has shimmer in it. The shimmer is more obvious when it is wet than when it is dry. But it is definitely there. So this is the first coat of Emerald City probably hard to see the shimmer but there is shimmer in there I'll do a close-up after I've done two coats the next category was favorite cream or crelly green uh, the one that was my favorite which was Tahitian lime I had to get rid of because it had all dried up and gone horrible this is frog prints um, Tahitian lime was also from Ulta 3 I really like Ulta 3 polishes this is just a really good mid bright green and I love it and I've had it for ages so that is frog prints the next category was a favorite gold and I realized looking through my collection I really don't have too many golds that I really really like um, and I don't really have that many golds. Um, I really like Bold Gold from Maybelline Color Show, but it's more my favorite gold stamping polish rather than wearing polish. So I thought, actually, I would go with this one. This is Gorgeous Gold from L'Oreal. And it's a lot like Pineapples Have Peelings too, but without all the different colors in it. So, yeah. And even just one thin coat, you can see that it's packed with stuff, so you get pretty good coverage. Whoops. Helps if you look what you're doing when you're trying to put the brush back in the bottle. The next one was favorite white. And I don't think I actually have a favorite white. Most of them are a little disappointing to me. Um, this is one of my preferred whites I guess um, I did actually have another one that I preferred more but I finished it and dig like since like thrown it out and haven't replaced it so this is probably the top one at the moment this is BYS's French white now, polishes that are designed to give you a French manicure tend to have a bit more pigment in them and be a bit um, have a bit more coverage but they're also a bit thicker so they aren't as necessarily as easy to work with. You can see on one coat, that's got pretty good coverage on one coat. You could probably get away with that. If you finesse it right, you could do it in one coat. Of course, I generally just put two coats. The next one was um, St. Patrick's Blue. And I didn't realize that St. Patrick had a blue but apparently it does and it's supposed to be a dusky blue heading towards navy um i don't think i have anything that is exactly bright this is probably the closest thing i have which is i heart my blue jeans from essence
that and that one. In the crack categories, um, the other ones were the colours one, obviously. In crack, it's uh, things that the Irish love, and obviously the Irish love a tipple. Um, and so we had to pick a polish that was Guinness or Bailey's inspired. And for me, um, I have quite a few polishes that are in this kind of colour, um, which reminds me a lot of Bailey's. Um, it's kind of just creamy sort of colour. This is Trade Winds from Revlon Color, Show, uh, color Stay. Um, not the you know most opaque of polishes, but it's good in two coats. So that's that one. Uh, the next one is, uh, I think it was Party, um, and it was a um, St. Patrick's inspired polish. Um, I decided just to go with this one, which is called Luck of the Irish from Ultra 3. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's basically just... A green glitter topper. <laughs> there's, there's nothing inspired. They're not like four leaf clovers or anything like that. But in terms of a basic um, St. Patrick's Manny, stick this over, you know, something like frog prints. Yeah, it does the job. So that is a luck of the Irish. The next one is the Irish Love A Laugh, and we were asked to pick a polish that the name of it makes us laugh, so I picked this one from Glam Polish. This is called Be Careful What You Witch For, which I think is a great name for a nail polish. This is a kitchen sink nail polish. Um, you could almost get it opaque in one coat. It is very, very thick. Uh, it's still relatively easy to work with, but it is a beast to get back off your nails. The ninth category is the Irish Love Their Leprechauns, and so we needed a rainbow inspired polish. And I figured I would go with this one, because it's called Over the Rainbow. It is just a rainbow coloured glitter topper, also from Ulta 3. Um, these two minis came out of an advent calendar box um, a couple of Christmases ago. Um, this is actually missing uh, green. It kind of has this light blue, but there's not a lot of greeny colours in it, which is really weird. But uh, It's still just a rainbow topper. Put it over pretty much anything. And last, it was that the Irish love to sing, and so we needed a music-inspired uh, polish. And this one here from the Essence I Heart Trends, the Metals Collection, is called Turn Up the Volume. It is not at all a polish that looks anything like St. Patrick's. It's pinky purple, um, but it's it fits the theme. I have actually quite a few um, polishes that have sort of a musical name to them, so, um, but this was the one that I thought was fitting for this particular one. So I am going to put another coat on all of these and then I will be back. Okay guys, so we are back. These have all had two coats put on them, they're almost dry, not quite dry. Uh, so. In the St. Patrick's Colours part of the collab, we have Favourite Shimmer or Holographic Green. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer to get a better look. So we have Emerald City from Revlon, uh, one of the matte suedes. The Favourite Green Cream or Crelly Frog Prints from Ulta 3. Favourite Gold. We have Gorgeous Gold from L'Oreal. Favourite White. We have French White from BYS. Favourite St. Patrick's Blue. 
we have I Heart My Blue Jeans from Essence. In the crack category, we have Bailey's Inspired Polish. We have Trade Winds from Revlon Colors Day. St. Patrick's Inspired Polish. We have Luck of the Irish from Ulta 3. Polish with a name that makes me laugh is Be Careful What You Witch For from Glam Polish. Rainbow Inspired Polish, we have Over the Rainbow from Ulta 3. And Music Inspired Polish, we have Turn Up the Volume from Essence. So that is it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like now polish type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!